Where does the uniqueness of Serbian DNA really come from? For generations, historians, linguists, and archaeologists have argued over this question. Are the Serbs simply Slavic people who migrated south in the early Middle Ages? Or are they something much older? The living descendants of ancient Balkan tribes who once ruled the mountains and rivers of this land long before anyone spoke a Slavic word. Now, after decades of debate, modern DNA is revealing the truth. And what scientists have discovered about the genetic origins of the Serbian people might completely change how we understand not only Serbia, but the very roots of Europe itself. So stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll see how Serbian DNA carries echoes of forgotten civilizations, lost tribes, and ancient farmers who built some of the first towns in Europe. But before we uncover that, ask yourself this, can a nation's DNA tell the story of its soul? Our story begins not in the Middle Ages, but thousands of years earlier on the banks of the Danube River. Here, long before pyramids or written words, one of Europe's oldest known civilizations emerged. Archaeologists call it Lepensky Vir, a settlement so ancient it stretches back nearly 8,000 years. The people of Lepensky Vir lived in geometric stone houses shaped like fish, surrounded by sculptures that blended human and animal features. These carvings weren't just art, they were symbols of a worldview, a spiritual connection between humanity, nature, and the mysterious river that gave them life. Nearby, another civilization began to rise, the Vincha culture. Around 5000 BC, they built some of the first organized towns in Europe, complete with streets, pottery workshops, and possibly even an early writing system. The Vincha symbols, carved into clay, predate Mesopotamian cuneiform by millennia. For centuries, these cultures thrived where modern Serbia stands today. They were among the first Europeans to farm the land, domesticate animals, and forge tools from metal. When scientists tested the ancient bones of these early settlers, the results were astonishing. Their DNA still survives in modern Serbs. That means the genetic roots of Serbia stretch not just into history, but into prehistory itself. Serbia isn't simply part of ancient Europe. It is ancient Europe. Thousands of years passed. The Neolithic villages became memories buried under new cultures. During the Bronze and Iron Ages, new peoples arrived, Illyrians, Thracians, and Dardanians, tribes who built hill forts on mountain peaks and traded with distant worlds. Their warriors were buried with weapons and ornaments that told stories of both courage and belief. But when their remains were examined, another revelation emerged. Modern Serbs share clear genetic links with these very tribes, not distant echoes, direct continuity. This means that families living in Serbia today may carry bloodlines that go back more than 3,000 years, unbroken through empires, wars, and migrations. The Illyrians and Thracians were known for their independence. They resisted conquerors, adapted to new empires, yet never disappeared. When the Romans arrived, they didn't find an empty land. They found people deeply tied to the soil, whose ancestry ran deeper than any empire could reach. Around the 6th and 7th centuries AD, waves of Slavic tribes moved south from the forests north of the Danube River. They brought new languages, customs, and traditions that would reshape the Balkans forever. For a long time, history painted this as an invasion, a sweeping flood that replaced the old with the new. But archaeology and genetics tell a far subtler story. There was no sudden cultural collapse, no mass extermination. Instead, the newcomers blended with the locals, intermarrying, sharing traditions, and building communities together. The pottery, homes, and burial customs after the Slavic arrival show a slow evolution, not destruction. It wasn't a replacement, it was a fusion. And that's exactly what modern DNA confirms. The Serbian genome carries the unmistakable markers of Slavic ancestry, paternal lineages like R1A, common among Eastern European Slavs. But alongside them, we find deep-rooted Balkan haplogroups, especially I2A, a lineage native to this region since the Ice Age. The result is something unique, a genetic fingerprint found nowhere else in Europe in the same balance, 
part Slavic, part ancient Balkan. When scientists compared the DNA of ancient Balkan skeletons with living Serbs, they found something rare, continuity. Across thousands of years, despite wars and migrations, many Serbian genetic lines remained stable. In most of Europe, new populations replaced old ones again and again. But in the Balkans, nature itself guarded the past. The mountains and valleys acted as barriers, isolating communities and preserving ancient bloodlines. Villages passed down their heritage for generations, not just in stories, but in genes. Even today, when scientists look at mitochondrial DNA, the maternal line, they find sequences unchanged since the Bronze Age. That means that the descendants of women who lived here thousands of years ago still walk these same lands. This stability gives Serbia one of the most continuous genetic histories in all of Europe, a living timeline from the Stone Age to the present. Then came the empires. Rome, Byzantium, the Ottomans. Each one sought to control the Balkans. Each one left its mark. The Romans saw Serbia as the crossroads of Europe. They built roads, cities, and fortresses. Several emperors, including Constantine the Great, were born on Serbian soil. Roman DNA traces appear faintly, blending into the deep Balkan mix. The Byzantine Empire followed, bringing Orthodox Christianity, art, and architecture that helped shape Serbian identity, culturally more than genetically. Even Celtic tribes passed through long before, leaving behind their tools, weapons, and faint DNA footprints. And when the Ottoman Empire ruled for nearly five centuries, it transformed faith and culture, but surprisingly, not genetics. Unlike earlier migrations, Ottoman rule brought few settlers, their genetic influence remains minimal. Every empire came and went, but the people, the genetic heart of the Balkans, remained. The land kept its identity, reshaped, but never erased. Today, when scientists study Serbian DNA, they find a masterpiece of continuity. Roughly half of the average Serbian genome traces back to ancient Balkan farmers and herders, the first Europeans to tame this land. The other half reflects Slavic ancestry from the north, woven with subtle threads of Celtic, Roman, and other influences. Together, they form a unique pattern, one that speaks not of purity, but of resilience. When compared with Croats, Bosniaks, Montenegrins, and Bulgarians, Serbs share deep ancestral bonds, proof of a shared South Slavic and ancient Balkan heritage. Even with Albanians and Romanians who speak different languages, genetic overlaps reveal common prehistoric origins. This tells us one undeniable truth. There is no such thing as a pure people. Every nation is a mosaic, a story written by migrations, unions, and survival. But what makes Serbian DNA remarkable is not isolation, it's endurance. Through every storm of history, its ancient roots never vanished. They adapted, absorbed, and endured. So what does all this mean? It means that Serbian DNA is more than science. It's a story, the story of Europe itself, told through one land. From the first farmers of Lipensky Vir, to the Slavic settlers who built a new identity, to the empires that rose and fell, all of them live on in the Serbian genome. Every strand of DNA carries whispers of those who came before, of women who tended crops by the Danube, of warriors who defended their hills, of settlers who blended new blood with the old. Through centuries of struggle and survival, the Serbian people didn't lose their past they carried it forward. Each generation added another layer to the same enduring foundation. So when scientists say Serbian DNA is unique, they mean this. It is a living record of endurance, a genetic echo of every civilization that ever called this land home. And that's the hidden story of Serbia, not of conquest or purity, but of continuity a people whose DNA still sings the ancient song of the Balkans. If you've enjoyed this journey into the DNA of Serbia, let us know in the comments. What part of this history surprised you most? 
And if you want to see how DNA reveals the origins of other nations, from the Celts to the Vikings, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next story. Because every strand of DNA is a memory, and every nation carries the story of its ancestors within. Thank you for watching, or as they say in Serbia, Hvala et Dovigenia.